Hello, hello, English Check Portal Games and this is Portal Games in format. We meet with our fans every Monday 9 a.m. Eastern Time, 3 p.m. European Time to discuss with you Portal Games topics and board game topics and generally get excited about our hobby. My name is Ignacy Trzewiczek, I work for Portal Games. I design games like Robinson Crusoe, like Detective, like Imperial Settlers and I am the positive energy from Poland mm, and today we are celebrating, I got this from my wife, dear YouTube, this is not alcoholic beverage, it is just a regular sparkling lemonade, don't close this channel please. Uh, guys, uh, just a few minutes ago, just before, before starting this uh, live stream, we passed one million dollars on uh, Robinson Crusoe Collector's Edition, so the mood is good in the office. Mm, uh, so over 7,000 buckers for Robinson Crusoe, that's a lot of people that want to get the crap beat out of them. That is true, we are, we are so humbled and so happy and this is absolutely amazing. Hello Ignacy, hello Marek and hello Mr. Tractor. Tractor is with us, uh, we got it to have a very very good reach and all the people who I love farming, we'll watch this vlog, this is our strategy. Good morning, says Mindy, hello Mindy. Good morning, Don, hello Grzegorz, hello Piotr, hello Robbie. And all the gang is here, uh, more than 50 people in the chat already. So once again, so this is the show. The first 10 minutes, warming up, uh, looking who is in the show, who is uh, with us on the chat, uh, discussing the recent uh, Portal Games update. So lots of chaos, lots of positive energy and basically no schedule whatsoever. Then after these 10 minutes, we go serious, I go serious, and we discuss the topic of the week. Uh, today, the topic of the week is the top 10 things you didn't know about Robinson Crusoe. I don't know how true it is for you, dear you know, fans on the chat and dear fans watching afterwards, uh, but I picked the top 10 things that are maybe interesting for you, and we will see if I manage to surprise you at some point. And then after this topic of the week, after topic of the week, we go to Epic Quen A. I answer your questions. We discuss football, soccer, volleyball, and all other things. Uh, what is interesting for you? Hello, Sandra. Hello, Don. Greetings from Philippines. That's an amazing place. That's amazing. Thank you for being with us. How's the weather in Gliwice? Ask Imre. The weather is uh, is good. Uh, not warm, not cold. Like you can see, the spring wants to come. Uh, winter doesn't want to go away. So it is okay-ish weather as for now. I was asking just before starting the, the stream, I was, I was asking uh, uh, Portal Games USA for some updates for you about uh, about a shipment of, uh, of so-called undead and all other things. And, uh, and I had to run. This is crazy day. This is a crazy weekend. This is what's happening these days is amazing. Stronghold Undead shipping this week. Uh, so it's happening and hopefully all of you will have Stronghold Undead at your homes uh, this upcoming week. Uh, for Vienna Connection, no new updates. Uh, uh, the, the product is on the ship and we hope that it will reach uh, America. It, is, uh, it has no uh, adventures as this famous ship that blocked everything. Uh, our ship wasn't, wasn't there, so you should be fine with that. I see Mary getting own a feature in campaign. There is true. This is true. Today we unlocked another daily stretch goal, daily unlock, and today there was a horse companion, a figure for the horse companion. What's happening here in the? What What are you doing? What are you doing? Stop doing that. Stop. St just take a take a break. Belgium, Belgium is here. Hello, Belgium. Greetings from Italy. Hello, Davide. Uh, people from all over the places, that's amazing. How you manage to answer all these game found questions? Uh, Xander, this is a great question. We have at this point four people uh, doing that. I'm doing it and my marketing team is doing that. Mary is helping. So there is a ton of people doing that. Uh, uh, but the, the atmosphere in the comments, uh, the mood in the comments is rather positive. Uh, it's a very positive campaign. I'm really surprised that there's not many people complaining. And so basically interacting with you guys is, is rather, rather super awesome. Uh, and I'm staying uh, all day long uh, in the comment sections these days uh, answering this question. So it's, it's, it's pretty, pretty rad. Uh, guys, uh, Moloch 51st State uh, released in April 8th. 
So in a few days in Poland, uh, lots of people already played this. And, uh, we, we saw so many pictures. We already shipped, I guess, uh, all other copies as well for English for our fans who pre-ordered from our website. So soon, soon, soon in local favorite game store, you will be able to play um, a Moloch expansion for Fifth State, and then. The next release is Egyptian Kings and Vienna Connection, and then Million Dollar Script, and then Petty Officers, and then Dreadful Circus, and all these amazing things that we have for you. And a ton of things happening. Hello from Ukraine! Great job! Hello, Oleg! Thank you for that. We have a good news for Ukraine, but I'm not sure if it was already announced, but one of our games will be released in Ukraine. But I don't want to spoil it before the original publisher, so I don't know if I can say it. But I know that I signed something for Ukraine market. And greetings from Poznan and greetings from Netherlands. Uh, uh, I have uh, so amazing uh, memories from Netherlands. Uh, last year I was there. Mm, uh, uh, two years ago it was already. Oh my god. Got my copy of Moloch. We'll play ASAP. Thank you, Dacio. The hello from Holland. Holland and Netherlands. I guess it's the same country, right? You, use, you are using different, different names. It is uh, confusing for all of us here outside this country. Uh, hello Dutch. Mm, um, today's topic of the week is uh, top 10 things about Robinson Crusoe. So I'm super happy mm, to get your bets uh, here in the chat. Uh, if you can bet how many things you will already know. So if I will surprise you twice, if I surprise you four times, if I surprise you seven times, I have uh, 10 informations about the game mm, to surprise you. And basically, uh, this is happening. Grabison Crusoe Collector's Edition is happening. We passed one million dollars today. Uh, lots of stretch goals, lots of daily unlocks, lots of amazing, amazing content for you. We listen to you, we hear the feedback. Most of the stretch goals, stretch goals as for now, are the ones that the committee was asking for. So we have a competitive scenario, we have a horror scenario, we have invention cards, like the, all these things that you were asking for, uh, for, for add to the campaign. We are making it, we are making it uh, real. So. And that's why probably and there is so much positive energy in the in the campaign, and I'm really really happy with that. And Giacomo says uh, just two points about Robinson Crusoe: add-ons are more expensive than Euro Store, and getting all in pledge doesn't grant math, mystery dice, and resin tokens. This is annoying, but well done. Anyway, uh, thank you, uh, thank you, Giacomo. A few points. So first of all, I saw these comments that you saw Mr. Tales or and uh, treasure chest in our store uh, with better price that was a sale sometimes or for the christmas sale for the valentine's day for the black friday day like in all stores worldwide in all industries whatever these uh, video games or board games or movies or whatever or jewelry uh, there are some periods like a weekend or week uh, where something is on sale uh, so yes on at some points of the year at some points of the year the treasure chest and Mr. Tales were on sale, but uh, the price that we are having here right now in our store and right now on the Kickstarter campaign, GameFound campaign, it is suggested retail price. And to be honest, it is uh, lower it because you are buying it in a bundle, so it is below uh, retail suggested price. Uh, but yes, uh, I can also find the uh, moments in the year when on Amazon.com something was uh, like Ticket to Ride was for 15 euro. Etc. Etc. Because yes, uh, prices fl um, change. Pl prices sometimes go up, sometimes go down. And, uh, the the thing that is important for all of us is a minimum suggested retail price. This is how uh, publisher is uh, establishing the price. From what price uh, retailers get discount, uh, their margin, etc. Etc. So this is how the business works. It's ten already. Ten past. Oh my God! Haven't played it yet. So probably ten. Ten out of ten. Uh, Okay, <laughs> Christian. Hello, Christian. Can we get additional guards or cards and cave as the add-on? I bought Book of Adventures, but I'm only interested in cave and gathering cards from the second one. Philip, this is a, this is a great question, and uh, let me rephrase it. And in two days, you will ask me if you want, if you can order cave and gather and something you will announce. And uh, seven days later, you will ask me if you can, if you can get cave and gather action cards and the other thing and the other thing. And maybe the other thing. This is the whole package. We are printing it in China. We are printing in the one big uh, box, and everything will be stored in the box. And there is uh, technically mm, uh, no possible way to start uh, selling these uh, different items on def different separate mm, uh, uh, parts. I mean, probably that would be p possible. 
and that would cost a ton of money because we would have to create a separate pack for this gather card, separate pack for this cave uh, expansion, separate pack for the other thing. And then we have to hire people who will manage all the orders. This dude wants this caves and this dude wants caves and gather and this dude wants gather and this other thing. That would be a mess. So it is yes, of course uh, it will not happen. We are printing it as a one big amazing set that will hold the base game and all the stretch goals. Or if you want, the, if you already have the base game, you will have a upgrade pack that is a, is amazing box and all the stretch, stretch goals packs in. And we cannot afford to make 20 custom items for 20 different stretch goals. What I want to remind everyone here in this campaign, we are doing daily unlocks. We have 20 different bonuses for you. Imagine Philip and everybody else. Imagine how many different options you would like to have. This is like this with this with this, or this with this if this, or this with this if this. Like, no, no, this is a set. Uh, Marek says that I should go to the topic of the week. All right, all right, all right, all right. So I go for the topic of the week, and then I will go back to answer your question. So prepare your questions. Uh, do we have any commercial? So I can. So we will have now a very short commercial break. So I go to another camera. And then we will have a topic of the week, uh, top 10 things about Robinson Crusoe, and then we will have, I will be back here answering your questions. Sounds like a plan? Let's go. So, uh, welcome. We meet with fans every Monday, 9 a.m., 3 p.m. Uh, Polish time, uh, 9 a.m. Eastern time, and we discuss sport against topics, and this topic is 10 things you didn't know about Robinson Crusoe. And I challenge you, everybody in the chat who can hear me, hopefully, and everybody later to give us uh, information in the comments if you know about these things, uh, which of these things were a surprise for you, how hardcore fan you are, how much you know about the uh, Porta Games and Robinson Crusoe, and uh, if I managed to surprise you. So, number 10, you already saw it, but you, had a bit, you haven't heard it. This is one, this is a photo contest that we ran many, many years ago. It was 2014 or 15, I don't remember correctly. We run the worldwide contest uh, for, uh, for a photo dedicated to Portal games. There was a ton of submissions, of course, and the photo that won the contest, the photo that was the best, and we voted in the office, in the company, and it got a ton of votes, was this one from the Russian photographer, and uh, we, we get submitted about three photos, and this is one of these photos, uh, a beautiful girl going for the journey, going to travel, going for the adventure with uh, Robinson Crusoe in the backpack. Uh, it, this is the photo that tells the story, the photo that is amazing and it makes a perfect sense with uh, Portal Games, board game that tells stories, it makes perfect sense with Robinson Crusoe. So this was the contest for the uh, best photo dedicated to Portal Games and Robinson Crusoe was a winner. Everybody heard that? Next. And now, Good times at Gen Con. Uh, I want to remind everyone that my first appearance in America, my first flight over the ocean, my first time being extremely terrified was me going to Gen Con to promote Robinson Crusoe. Back then in 2013, Zeman Games released uh, their edition of the game. 2013 is the moment when Zeman Games releases Robinson Crusoe in America and they invite me and my wife Mary as a special guest and we go there to Gen Con to promote the game. And this is the first time I was able to meet many, many of you. For the first time, meet Dice Tower, for the first time, meet Joel Eddy, for the first time, meet so many of the fans who became our friends uh, in upcoming years. Uh, amazing adventure for me. For the first time in America, so you can imagine uh, a lot of emotions, a lot of uh, discoveries, a lot of surprises, uh, and a great, great time uh, running demos all day long at the Zeman Games booth and uh, speaking with my Slavic accent to you and you trying to understand and me meeting for the first time Z Garcia and mispronouncing the word herbs and everybody was like, laughing at me because I was pronouncing it the way that drugs is pronounced and there was so many things that I screw up back then. It was amazing adventure. So yes, Robinson Crusoe, the first edition Zeman Games 2013 and my first flight to America and my first time I met many of you in America. And number eight. Uh, I don't know if you know, but I received the award for Robinson Crusoe, the best game of the year in Switzerland. And believe it or not, that this award is in the form of the bell, of the bell for the cows. And at the very beginning, when I was in the ceremony, before 
uh, our ceremony, uh, my friends were telling me that I will be, I will be given a cowbell. And I thought that they're making a fun because, as you may know, I do a signature when I do autographs in the games and I draw a cow. So I thought that this is a joke that because I'm drawing a cow in the boxes, I will get the cowbell. And then I went to the scene and I see jury coming to me with actual cowbell, a huge one, as you can see on the photo. And I really received the bell and it's one of the most extraordinary hours I ever received. And it was absolutely amazing. Uh, game of the year in Switzerland means that you go back with the bell to home. And going about uh, speaking about uh, going home with the bell, when I landed in Poland, I was stopped by the um, customs, uh, and they opened my suitcase and they were checking what the hell is going on because for the whole flight, the crew heard very strange noises from the hall from my suitcase. And then I showed them the bell and I said, I'm sorry, I didn't know it makes so much noise. Sorry, can I go home now, please? And I was uh, left. So yes, um, bell, it doesn't do well if you are on the plane. And number seven or something like that. Uh, Wilson, can I have a Wilson piece? 2012, the game is uh, debuting at SN, and I go for the live stream at Board Game Geek. My English back then was even worse than today, uh, so it was uh, terrible. But I had a prop. I had this Wilson. It is still with me here. We bought in Poland a volleyball a ball. We made a paint. We made a, a hand, and this is the prop that was with me back then in 2012 at the Board Game Geek live stream. It went extremely well. Uh, thank you once again for the Board Game Geek uh, team that helped me out with the presentation and uh, well, uh, that was a very good essence for us. Uh, the hype for the game uh, was very, very high. The demo went very, very well. There was a ton of people who watched this live stream from Board Game Geek and then called their friends, texted their friends in Essen, hey, buy me this game. I just saw the demo. It's amazing. And we were sold out very, very quickly. And uh, yes, and I still have this ball with me in my office. Uh, to remember these uh, crazy, crazy days and the first days of, uh, can you do it? Uh, first days of uh, Essen and Robinson Crusoe. Number book nerd. Uh, I, I wrote about this in the recent updated board game uh, at the GameFound page for Robinson Crusoe. Uh, that I'm a book nerd and I wanted to once again brag about it and show it. This is Robinson Crusoe, a Polish edition of the game. Of the, of the books. I absolutely love this novel. I absolutely love uh, Robinson Crusoe. I managed to find a very old version of this, of this book, like uh, from the uh, antique shop. It is from the uh, 1950s. So this book at this point has 70 years. Uh, is a gem in my collection. I also have, and I showed it in the, in the update, this version of the book, Robinson Crusoe, uh, in English from 1850s. So this book has more, almost 200 years uh, Asian, Asian book, Robinson Crusoe, a gem in my collection. And uh, because I'm a book nerd and I love my books, I want also to share something that I was discussing yesterday, in the yesterday's update at the Game Founder page, and I was discussing Mysterious Island from Ju Julius Verne. And once again, I have this uh, very, very old, amazing, amazing edition. Let me just find uh, this old artwork, this uh, thematic. Uh, thematic art, which is a very old, amazing, amazing, amazing book. So as you can see, I am true book nerd. And when I was designing Robinson Crusoe, I really read all these books. I really love these books. I really collect them. I really have a couple of copies of each of these titles with different editions, different covers. And yes, uh, these games are games that tell the stories. Because I love stories, because I love reading books, and I really, really do my best to take the stories and make them into the board games. Number family time. I'm going to discuss it in one of the upcoming updates about Robinson Crusoe. The thing that many of you may forget is that this is the most amazing family game out there. And I'm serious. I'm pretty serious. And here you can see my daughter here. She was like, I don't know, four or three years ago. Here, uh, much, much, much older. And she absolutely adores Robinson Crusoe. She loves it. She played with me so many, many times. Because this is the game that tells a story. And kids love stories. And the fact that they can go for the discovery tokens, the fact that they can go for the hunting and fighting with the wild animals, that they are building the shelter, the, all the adventures that are happening in this game, 
This is the family game. That's why in this uh, campaign we are having uh, a special book of adventures anthology of different scenarios. And in these scenarios you will also find scenarios for playing with kids, for children teams. And I want to once again to send this message very, very clear. Yes, it is a Euro game. Yes, it is a complex Euro game. But if you have kids at home and if you want to have amazing, amazing family time like I had when I was designing this game, just sit with your kids, manage the rules, manage the, all the complex things and let your kids have amazing adventure time. And I can really, really say it from my own experience. Kids love this game. They love to hunt and find the tracks of the animals, build shelter, and do all this stuff. It's an amazing family game. And these things that you might be missing because you know this, uh, this complex Euro game. No, no. For the first time, most important thing, this adventure game. That is a little bit complex, but you can do it for your kids. And number, I don't know. The next one, uh, Robert Masson, uh, designer of MHS Beagle with me this is an interesting story i don't know if you if you know it was a uh, year 2013 or it was 2012 2012 right after releasing the uh, base game uh, robert created his own scenario and he posted it in a board game geek the scenario was called the naturalist and it was about the charles darwin uh, career and after publishing this scenario i played this scenario i uh, contacted him i told him i how much i and appreciate his work and creating this fun-based scenario and he replied to me and said that he has a surprise for me because he actually designed one more scenario that is a follow-up story to this natural naturalist scenario and he wants to send it to me as a gift uh, to me and I received a secret scenario that was not posted on BoardGameGeek uh, as a gift for me and I played this other scenario and I said Robert this is like a campaign and he opened my mind, he opened my mind for all these new possibilities that in Robinson Crusoe, besides single scenarios, we can do campaigns. And I suggested to him that we work together and he created this amazing campaign, MHS Beagle, with me and my team. And this is uh, one of the amazing, amazing s stories that we created as a portal game. So you, are, you know our company for MHS Bigger, you know our company for Mystery Tales, you know our company for Detective, the base game, and LA Crimes, etc. etc. We love tell stories, and MHS Bigger is an exceptional campaign in which you are part of the expedition of Charles Darwin and go with him and discover things. And it was inspired by Robert Bass, it was inspired by the fun, the whole concept came to us from the fans. And uh, Robert, in his, mm, in his life, his uh, daytime job, he's a scientist, he's a biologist. Mm, uh, he does a very complex stuff that I don't understand, <laughs> but uh, he really, really appreciates uh, the work and the career uh, of Charles Darwin, and that's why he decided to give respect uh, to these uh, great, great scientists from the old ages. Uh, number next, number next is Vlada Khvatil on my blog, and uh, you might heard about this article because it is quoted on so many occasions, different interviews, different vlogs, different blogs, and so many people mentioned this, and you may wonder what it is. Uh, back then, in 2012, when I was designing Robinson Crusoe, I took prototype and I went to Czech for the Czech convention, because it was very close to my home, and at this convention there was Vlada Khvatil. Vlada Khvatil is a famous designer who designed games like Through the Ages and Code Names. Let me put it once again in one sentence, because it's amazing. Vlada Khvatil is a designer who designed Through the Ages and Code Names, and other games. And uh, Vlana is a brilliant, brilliant uh, designer and he's so smart and so kind and he played the uh, Robinson Crusoe prototype with me and he destroyed me. Like he, he said so many things uh, about this game that were not working and uh, that I should fix them. He basically took all the, all the game and trashed it. And it was amazing feedback and I wrote two articles about that, uh, part one and part two, how I was changing Robinson Crusoe on... Uh, after the feedback from Vlada Khvatil, and these articles became very, very famous. I published them in my book, and you can find them on uh, my blog, on Board Game Geek, Board Game Tell Stories. And yeah, there's a couple of hundreds of thumbs up for this article, and became one of the most discussed articles I ever uh, wrote uh, in, on my blog. Vlada Khvatil destroying Robinson Crusoe back then in 12, 2012. And the last screen? It happened. It happened today. Uh, <laughs> It happened today, and uh, as we were preparing for the live stream, we were very close, very close, very close, and about half an hour before the stream, 
we made it one million dollars. It's uh, mind blowing. It's uh, I don't have anything smart to say in this situation. Like this is a situation that you just say. I don't know. We are happy. We are very, very happy with uh, what's happening, what happened. Uh, something is happening again, something. Uh, and uh, we are Hello, proud. There is I want to thank Paul. every backer who was with us for every comment, every feedback, every support for you promoting this game, for you sharing information about this campaign. Mm, uh, you made me and my team super proud today and super happy and we are all going here in the office with smiles on our faces and thank you for that Robinson Crusoe it's really hard to believe that the game that was published almost 10 years ago has enough legs has enough funds has enough power to become a rock star on a kickstarter on a game fund once again and get so many new people to discover it and I'm so proud so thank you all fans of Robinson Crusoe who were supporting this game for years who made it so high in the board game league writings who created fun created content who created all these scenarios and other other things. Uh, thank you for you teaching this game at the conventions. Thank you for you teaching this game in the gaming clubs. Thank you for posting all the mm, photos of the game on Twitter, on Instagram, social media. Thank you for cursing at me when you find the gold card. And if you played Robinson Crusoe, you know what I mean. Uh, I love these photos when you curse me after finding a gold card. Thank you for that. Uh, I really appreciate. And as I said. Uh, we are blown away. It's really hard to say anything smarter than thank you. We really appreciate you and your ongoing support for the game. And I hope you will find many, many new gamers with this Kickstarter campaign, Game Found campaign. It will be amazing. So this is it. That was the topic of the week. 10 things that maybe you didn't know about Robinson Crusoe. Let me know in the comments if you heard about them. And now short commercial break. And I see you in a moment on the other camera hopefully with the mic working, because I'm going to answer your questions. So see you in a moment. Hello, there is Joanna from Portal Games. And let me, I just found out that the Barbarian Horse got the first place in Rolling Dice and Taking Names title of the expansion of the year. Wow. It's an amazing news and I would like to thank you very much for that, especially as it's one of my first independent projects. I'm really glad that I've made something so entertaining and I hope that I will have even more amazing designs for you to play in the future. Cheers! Yes, Empires of the North Barbarians. That expansion made me want to play that game over and over again. The simplicity of it. It doesn't have to be convoluted, Ignacy. <laughs> It doesn't need oh to try to gosh. roll everything into one th one game. It just needs to be simple. Remember, Marty and I are simple people. Plain and simple. That's what we are. So, Joanna, congratulations on this Rookie Design Award. Hello, hello. we are back. <laughs> How are you doing? Uh, this is Portal Games Informat. We meet every Monday 9 a.m. Uh, Eastern Time, 3 p.m. Polish Time. And uh, this is how looks the person who has a very successful Kickstarter campaign. They smile, but they are very, very tired. Uh, it's a lot of work. Uh, thank you for the whole feedback for the game. Thank you for all the questions. Uh, uh, and I need to survive two more weeks and I'll be fine. I have bought most of Robinson Crusoe promos from you stand at Essen. Thank you. And have the original beautiful box set. So which tire should I buy, be buying? Also, congrats for one million, very fitting. Thank you, uh, Frail. We have this uh, veteran pledge. Veteran pledge that is for guys like you, for the people who know the game, who love the game, who own the game, and want to just upgrade. And with this veteran pledge, you will get access to all these stretch goals that we are unlocking. And there's a ton of things that you will grab. Today, we unlock the... A miniature for the horse. If you have this promo of the horse from Essen, you will know what I mean. And you will have access to all these uh, miniatures that we are having here and a plastic insert and this one epic bigger box than regular. So we will have like a storage solution for Robinson Crusoe, a big box with the plastic insert. You will get all the stretch goals, you will get all the uh, this, this additional promo items that we are unlocking in the campaign and you will get all these amazing, amazing miniatures. Uh, so I would go for the veteran pledge if I were you. 
Um, Ignaz, I'm still trying to convince my wife to let me back Robinson Crusoe Collector's Edition. Any suggestions on how I can bring her over to our side? Christos, absolutely, I have an idea. Uh, I need to know what's her name. So let me know in the comments uh, what's her name and we'll do, we'll, we, I will do help you. So no worries, let me know what's her name. How they still good? Yeah, that surprise <laughs> is expected now. Is Chevy Do the only undefeated Robinson Crusoe player in the history? Did we unlock huge funds for Marty and Tony yet? Guys, this is amazing. This, this is number 11 for top 10 things uh, you might not know and is a great way to, to tell this additional story. Thank you, Ben, for reminding me. Uh, just back to uh, Christos Wise, Nanette, Nanette, dear Nanette. My name is Ignacy Trzewiczek. I'm designer of the game called Robinson Crusoe, this amazing adventure game that you can play with your husband and your whole family. This is a game inspired by the amazing book by Daniel Defoe, Robinson Crusoe. In this game, you will have a cast, you will be a castaway. You have to survive on the deserted island. You have to build a camp. You have to track the animals. You have to discover new, new lands. It's amazing, amazing game full of adventure. And if you like novels like that, Give it a chance and make your husband so, so happy. And this game is good. And it was saying, me, Ignacy Trzewiczek, designer of the game. I know this is good. I designed this game. Hello, Nanette. Trust me. And back to top 11 uh, bit may, you might not know. In the new print runs of Robinson Crusoe that are in the stores right now, there is one card. It was not in the first prototype, not in the first edition, not even in the second edition. What is this card? This card is called Sunny Beach. A sunny day at the beach. Sunny day at the beach. And uh, what's the story behind? One of the co-hosts of the Rolling Dice and Taking Name podcast, which I strongly recommend because it's uh, super fun and super interesting, and sometimes they even talk board games. Mm. One of the co-hosts of this, of this podcast, Tony, said on the record that he sold out Robinson Crusoe, which made me so sad, because there was no positive cards, every card was uh, negative, only bad events, only bad adventures, only wild animals, and he wanted something sunny at once, uh, at least once. So I said that it can be done, and in all new prints of the game, there is one single positive card in the deck. It is called uh, Sunny Day at the Beach, and it is with my dedication to Tony, and since this game ended up on the market, he had to buy this game again and have it in his collection. So yes, uh, these are all these crazy stories behind Robinson Crusoe because, uh, yes, because why not, right? Robinson Crusoe is my wife and it's a favorite cooperative board game. It truly feels like an adventure. Can't wait for the new stuff. Nanette, did you hear that? Family game. Adventure game. That's cool. Mm, Chevy. And we, we don't talk football and we don't talk Robinson Crusoe. Winning Robinson Crusoe. Uh, Periscope, uh, Leonard, uh, do you have any plans to work with Raptor for a great insert for the new box? Uh, Leonard, absolutely not, because in this box we have pre constructed amazing insert already. So we don't need, and you don't need any more inserts. In this box you will find a dedicated insert that stores all the pieces. In the box. Mm, um, fabulous. Thank you so much. Absolutely, Christos. Greetings to you and Annette. Have fun and I, I hope you will have a great time with this game. Will there be a campaign like Voyage of the Beagle? Uh, Jack, yes. Uh, we are redeveloping, redesigning Images Beagle for the, uh, for the new edition of the game and we hope to release it next year or at least uh, be almost ready next year. It will be done by John Nakijanka, the designer and developer, in-house developer who did Mr. Tales with me. So she's a super talented, amazing, amazing girl, uh, super smart. So yes, MHS Beagle with the new edition will, will be released next year or at least will be almost ready next year. Dear team, what about sleeves? There will be no spare sleeves in add-ons. They will be available in retail later on or someone will be generous and add five extra for each 100. Thanks for the answer. Anim, we will, we will not leave you behind, as you can see in the campaign, and as you can see in the, everything I do in the industry. I started this company 22, 22 years ago, in 1999, and I only have the reputation of uh, playing with players, playing in one team, uh, not leaving anyone uh, behind me, so we will not fail you, you will be fine with the sleeves, don't worry. 
Thanks for the advice. I've just backed it at the, that level. I appreciate that. And I hope you will have a great, great time with this box when you get it. Looking forward to the release. Congratulations to you and the team. Absolutely. Uh, and this is uh, very important what you said, uh, the team. I always say I'm the face of the company. I'm this crazy dude who talks to the camera because he's the most brave to use not native language in front of the camera because everybody else is scared. But uh, there is a team of people working right now, answering the questions, preparing the assets, uh, preparing the pledges, uh, doing logistics. Like there is a whole company working on this project, and uh, so many respect, so many kudos, so many congratulations goes to me. I love it. Uh, but let's remember, this is, a, this is a team effort and I cannot stress it enough how many hours uh, my team put in this, uh, in this project. Would you ever design a scenario about the Lewandowski with Jack Como? This is, a, this is a great question. Unfortunately, Lewandowski got injury yesterday and he will not play against England this Wednesday. So the whole country healed. The whole country... Um, we don't know if you should be happy that Portal Games got $1 million on the, on the game fund, or we should be sad that Lewandowski has injury. The nation is split. With Wine Voyage of the Beagle content is not included in the current campaign. Lucas, I just answered this question. We are redeveloping this, this whole expansion and we are doing a new edition of this expansion. Uh, Benjamin, any guesses on the final project manager total? Three million. Uh, Benjamin, absolutely, absolutely no. Uh, I, I don't expect that number. And uh, what we uh, achieved today is uh, much more than we expected, much more than I expected. And uh, at this point, I'm just blown away and no predictions whatsoever. The Polish store pre-order for 51st State Molog ends April 8th. Do you know when the US store pre-order ends? The same? I believe so because uh, the street date for the for the expansion both in America and in Europe is April 8th. So at this date, there is no more pre-order. There is order. You can order it. Paul Inkao, hello, hello Ignacy, hello Paul, how are you? Uh, Benjamin, are we going to have an Ignacy character mini in Robinson? Give the people what they want. I don't want to die with you. No, there will be no Ignacy risking uh, a life with. Uh, I could be mean sure if Chevy plays. That's all I can offer. I bought myself a Polish copy of Robinson Crusoe three months ago, and I played it every weekend ever since. Very excited about the Book of Adventures. Amazing game. Thank you, Oleg. I appreciate that. And it's very kind of what you, what you say. Yes, the game has infinite replayability. And what, what you mentioned, the Book of Adventures, 20 brand new scenarios, plus the scenarios from the unlocks, from the daily unlocks, plus new variants of the existing scenarios. This is mind-blowing. Uh, I cannot express how much work Janaki Janka put in this expansion and how much talent and new ideas is there, so absolutely. Ignacy, make sure you and Marriage Consellor do your credits from now on. Thanks for the help and congratulations of you, of your team on Robinson Crusoe. Thank you, Christos. Uh, as I said, I always have a good answers and I have always great advices for wives and husbands all over the place. This is not true, right? Um, uh, five last minutes, a uh, few last questions, uh, two, three last minutes. Can we get a cobel stretch goal? No, 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 the cobel is mine. I'm not stretch, stretch goaling it with nobody. So how about co-promo with Bell? No, 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 no. Chevy the Champ character, <laughs> plus me, yeah. Chevy the Champ, that would be interesting. Guys, uh, celebrate with us. Have a great Monday today. Uh, as I said, uh, I'm super tired. Uh, exhausted is the word. Uh, I'm super exhausted, but uh, I'm very happy. And thank you for doing that, uh, making Ignacy smile once a while. He's smiling. Uh, thank you for the positive energy. Thank you for making the whole team very proud and happy today. And share the news about the campaign. Share about news about Robinson Crusoe. It's an amazing, amazing game. And I know that you will have a great time with it. So I wish, I wish you a great time, guys. Thank you. I go back to work. Take care.